Welcome back to Legend of Zelda. Uh, what I did is I did a little bit of working ahead. Uh, I bought another potion, gambled up a little bit of money, and got us to where we need to be. We need the monster bait now. I just figured I'd bring us to the blue ring shop because this is the best place to buy it. So what we're going to do is it's actually conveniently right near where we need to be. Because if you remember, we have the fairy fountain directly to the north. And then right over here, we have, just like every other level, a monster. But yet, we don't have a fairy here at this lake. Let's play our whistle, shall we? And the lake dries up in a spectacular rainbow. And here we are on level 7. This, I believe, is the... Dr the dragon, I want to say? I'm not fully certain. But I do know that our other bomb upgrade is here. Now... And that's the reason why I took... Oh! Well, shit. Right there. An example of a master key. Keys, I should say, because, yeah. K-E-E-S-E. -E -E. Like Reese. Reese's peanut butter cup. I don't know. But, um, yeah. <sighs> shit. Completely lost track of what I was saying. But, yeah, we've got... Oh, that's... No, I remember what I was saying. It was, um, the money. Because if you remember, I had like 160 after at the end of the last video. Uh, I needed to spend 68 on a new uh, new red potion, and I also needed to spend 60 on the uh, the monster bait. But I also needed the 100 rupees for the bomb upgrade. But here we go with Dig Dogger Redux and. That's far more disappointing than I was expecting. I was expecting that to be a three. Huh, maybe it's random and I just keep getting really lucky. Because actually, I think the last couple times I played this game, it was a single. I don't know. Not really all that sure why I'm worried about it. Come all the way over here for that. So let's come up here. There's a secret in the tip of the nose. That would happen to be alluding directly to the bomb upgrade. It's the only time that it's actually uh, outright spoken about. I don't think they ever mention it anywhere else. They don't mention the one in level 5. At least, not that I've found or, you know, cared to pay attention to in the couple times that I've played it now that I'm an adult. There we are back in the origin room. The reason why they give the give you the bombs is actually because it's a couple times they actually need you to blow a hole in the wall. And of course, for some reason, I wanted to think that I could press up on the menu, even though I know that's blatantly false. I was about to say, well, at least I got my sword beams back. And apparently something about the Stealthos just makes the game chug. Because that is the game, it's not my computer. I promise. Now's a pretty good time to 
show off the... the, uh, wand. Because I keep getting cursed. Come here! Thank you. Ah, there we go. There's an another dig dogger. There's the one that spouts three. I was about to say, I knew you fought him more than twice. And there we go. We get absolutely nothing for doing that. And is it just me, or is this level just really tame in terms of monsters? Because fucking level six had whiz robes, and level five had blue dark nuts. So, you know, is it fair to say that I feel kind of cheated? Um, uh, pretty sure that there were other rooms over here. And of course, this time I didn't make an ass out of myself fighting Dodongo. But this time really didn't give me anything of value. And... Huh. There's one of the holes we blew in the wall. Oh. Well, that's some Dodongo food. And... The long, probably not anticipated return of the ropes. And that rupee never got a chance to hit his orange frame. Huh. That's weird. And come up here. I bet you'd like to have more bombs. Okay. Now what's the secret in the tip of the nose? Could that be the red candle? I don't... I don't think that it'd be talking about the dungeon treasure. Though the uh, dungeon map would be kind of nice to have right now. now. I think I've explored the entire southern hemisphere of the, the dungeon. I mean, what could it hurt? I mean, we do have 16 bombs after all. This is just the, the rehashed mini bosses. Sometimes regular bosses. Take that as foreboding if you want. Because it kind of is. <laughs> Not going to say anything, though. Beyond what I already have. Shut up, you know what I'm talking about. And, of course, I've got a refight the enemies in this room. Because that's not incredibly f fucking trivial or anything. And there we go. And this guy is why we need the monster bait. Now, for the longest time, I thought that I needed to place it on top of him. Nope, just place it in a room. He steals it right out of your hands and goes away and you know he doesn't come back so you know you'll be fine so. though there there is one more instance that's kind of like that guy except that you know it's in the final dungeon and saying have you beaten all eight dungeons so far? Yeah. Okay, I might actually need... Nope. Fluid blind. Because I pretend to be cool like that.
Oh, I keep hitting select. Oh, yeah, that's right. I know the eye has a secret. This is a case where I actually need to use the wand. Because these enemies are fucking ridiculous. And if we come in here, that's the red candle. And just like, no, I don't think anything else actually. Well, yeah, I guess I should explain now that the upgraded candle let you use it as many times per screen, limited to two on screen at a time. And the boomerang got an upgrade where originally it would only go half the, the distance of the screen. Now it goes all the way. I know, really late to explain it, but, you know, just crossed my mind. And then if we just come over here... We can skip a sizable chunk of the head, which is actually the crown of the nose. But, and we got our bomb, some of our bombs back. I actually think. All right, we. As far as I know, we can't just bomb down, but I think we can bomb up. No, we we can't. That's what I get for talking early. Well, let's actually come up here for once. Yeah, this is tame for a late game dungeon. Like, really tame. Though, to be fair, it does expect you to have the forethought that, you know, something, you know, chiefly the, um, the monster rate. And actually, you do need to go through the eye. Because all coming up here did was give us a key. And we don't have to deal with them anymore. And it's this guy again. There we go, we get more bombs. Why? Well, I guess if you didn't find the, uh, the bomb upgrade, you might need them, and this is the third Dig Dogger on this stage, isn't it? We have literally fought the level 5 boss four times. A little stale, don't you think? But, eh. So is my commentary sometimes, so... I guess I'm not really one to talk. Sometimes there's times where I absolutely run out of things to say. So. Ah! There we go. Thanks for that. Which, actually, all you need is a bomb there, because this is the tip of the nose that it was talking about. And. You may want your uh, wand for this because of that. Well, I'll see you back there. That was nothing short of embarrassing. 
So let's... You've got to be fucking kidding me. Let's try that again. What's feeling this time? Hopefully. Which, actually doing that was a terrible idea. Because if you pick up the... Um, stopwatch... In a room with Wallmasters, they stop coming after you. Because they can't. But, after you finally do that after fucking it up twice... Come down here. Yeah, it's like the Revenge of the Boomerang Brothers. What the fuck? That was literally the entire content of the enemies in this stage. Really kind of disappointed. And then you see this shit. Remember him? Yeah. It's Aquamantum from fucking level one. Still, only takes three hits to kill him. Why didn't they give him a blue form? But yeah. After that painfully retarded level, we're finally done. Seven pieces down. And with that, I'm gonna call that a video. That was painful. See you next time. Until then, this is Trellier, signing out.